Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought it would be fun to do an updated morning routine. So that's what today's video is gonna be. So I partnered up with CeraVe to make this video because I'm a big fan of their products. And if you stay tuned to the end, you can find out how you can have the opportunity to try the products out for free. First thing every morning I'm woken up by my son. He kind of makes noises in his crib and I, that's when I know to go get him. And I pick him up and bring him into bed and if Byron's home we all kind of wake up together. I uh, will go make him some oatmeal and bring it in bed. I keep it pretty casual and then him and Byron play. He loves to watch Byron play with his phone. So while they do that, I will usually go to the bathroom and get ready. I like to diffuse um, Elevation in the morning which is a really uplifting blend of essential oil. Next I pop in the shower and I try to take a quick shower especially these days because we are in a drought currently. I always keep cleanser in my shower and then after I get out of the shower I blow dry my hair about 50 to 90 percent of the way dry just depending on what I'm doing that day. For skincare I've been keeping my routine super simple. I've been using the CeraVe moisturizer every morning for about two or three months now. I really like it. It's not sticky. It's fragrance free. It feels great on the skin but it also contains ingredients that I highly recommend for the skin. One of them is hyaluronic acid, which I've spoken about before. The other is ceramides, which are actually naturally occurring in our skin, but they can become depleted over time, which can lead to dry skin. So basically, ceramides are like the glue that hold your skin's surface together and are important to the overall health of our skin. The next step in my morning routine is my Stila CC Cream. It starts out blue and then it gradually adjusts to your pigment, to the pigment of your skin. It also has SPF 20, so it's kind of killing two birds with one stone. This is a great kind of multi-purpose product that gives light coverage and looks really good. On some days, a CC cream is all that I will wear. Um, but if I'm gonna be going out, I do like to use concealer. That's kind of one of the things that if I'm gonna be out and about, I like to conceal under my eyes. And one of my favorites is the YSL Touche Clot, which is kind of a more pricey one, but I've been a fan of it ever since I've been working in the cosmetic industry. It's a really nice, lightweight one. And then I'm using that little baby micro mini beauty blender, which is perfect for right under the eyes. I love it. And then I'm using a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow to just kind of fill in the spaces in my eyebrows that are a little bit more sparse. And I think that this is kind of, if I'm gonna be doing my makeup for the day, even if it's a natural look, I like to do this because it gives a more even appearance to the eyebrows. I've collected a good amount of Tarte uh, makeup and their mascara is actually one of my favorite mascaras of all time. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes, which is in the gold um, case. I really like it because it makes your lashes look really, really long and uh, it separates them really nice. And then I'm also using the Tarte blush, which this is like a blush stick. I really like it because it makes your skin look really dewy and healthy and I'm kind of always going for that healthy, natural look with my makeup. So everyone always asks me what I'm wearing on my lips and it's pretty much the same thing every day. I wear the Tarte Amazonian Clay Universal Lip Liner and I kind of go just slightly outside my lip line, um, just a little bit. It kind of plumps your lips up a little bit and then I wear Lancome Juicy Tube over that. Some days I don't wear makeup at all to be completely honest and some days I will put makeup on if I think we're gonna go somewhere but I won't do my hair or I'll just put my hair up in a bun like what I'm doing now. Most days I'm usually just wearing jeans or I'll throw on some like workout pants. It kind of just depends on what I'm doing. Um, I don't get overly dressed up. I keep it pretty simple in my mom clothes. I will take him to have like the second part of his breakfast or his snack before he goes down for his morning nap. So I usually give him water in his sippy cup and then I'll pull out some fresh fruit. Uh, while I'm slicing some fruit up for him, I like to boil myself a few eggs. Usually I'll have two boiled eggs in the morning um, or a protein shake or oatmeal. It kind of depends on how I'm feeling. But a lot of times I'll boil extra eggs and then I'll stick them in the refrigerator. They can last for about two days, I would say. Um, and then you want to throw them away because they'll go bad. And then I'll cut him some fresh fruit, whatever we have available. He loves bananas. He will oftentimes eat a whole banana with a little bit of oatmeal. That's a very common breakfast I'll give him. And then if I have raspberries or blueberries or blackberries, I like to give him some sort of berry. 
and uh, I let my eggs boil and then stick them in the refrigerator and then I'll save the other half of his banana for a smoothie that I'm gonna make in a little bit but before I do that I usually have playtime with him and then he usually gets pretty tired so he takes a morning nap I'll read him a book and kind of get him all ready I'll usually put some lavender in his diffuser and then I'll put him down for his morning nap and while he's taking his nap, then I can uh, get some work done. I usually will start by kind of finishing my breakfast, which I am making a smoothie this morning. One of my favorite is this mint cacao smoothie. I really like this. I mean, this isn't for everybody, I don't think, but I love the taste. And it's a really filling smoothie, refreshing and yummy. It kind of has like a mint chip vibe to it, but it's really, really healthy. And so yeah, I will have that and then I'll go in my office, I'll look at YouTube comments, I'll edit a video, I'll just kind of do whatever I have time for while Oliver sleeps because that's really when I can get the majority of my work done or at night time. Going back to CeraVe, they gave me the chance to allow you guys to try the products out for free and give me your honest feedback. So if you're interested in trying them out, you can go to skinlovesceraVe.com slash Rachel Talbot and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.